Hey DSM, this is Anthony. And Elizabeth here with your November 13th edition of DSMS TV News. There will be no ceramics club meeting today. However, there will be yearbook club meeting today after school. Now to two short PV videos highlighting more high school programs. If you've always wanted to be a part of choir, now's your chance. In Horizons Choir Program, you'll get a chance to develop your singing skills and much more. Our choir program has over 300 students and seven amazing choirs. Our two upper choirs, our town choirs, our advanced mixed choir, and step on stage, our advanced mixed show choir. Participating in any of our choirs will give you an appreciation for hard work as you develop your abilities as a singer, performer, and musician. Being part of choir is truly a team experience. You'll not only develop your own personal skills, but you'll learn to appreciate how you contribute to the entire choir. This is a skill you'll be able to use for the rest of your life, wherever you might be performing in groups. As a member of the choir, you'll also have a chance to get on the stage and perform in near professional venue and take part in large scale performances. The choir puts on four very popular performances each year, including Broadway Under the Stars, which attracts an audience of more than 5,000. This type of experience really gives our students the chance to develop their skills and build confidence. Being part of the choir is an exciting experience where you'll not only learn to develop your musical abilities, but you'll also make new friends and learn to create beautiful music together. This is an unforgettable experience where you'll have lots of fun while you learn. The mission of Air Force Junior ROTC is to develop citizens of character dedicated to serving their nation and community. Air Force Junior ROTC is not an Air Force Assessments program and cadets are never under any obligation to join the military. Air Force Junior ROTC is a Title X U.S. Code mandated citizenship training program that is designated to educate and train high school cadets in citizenship, promote community service, instill personal responsibility, character, and self-discipline. The Air Force Junior ROTC Training Corps program here at Shadow Mountain High School has many exciting and challenging activities that will make you more self-disciplined and self-reliant while providing you with the valuable leadership skills and introduction to the fascinating field of aerospace science. In this program, you'll learn to appreciate the value of service and self-discipline. Through training, community service, and a variety of interesting activities, you'll get a taste of military life while still in school. In the Air Force Junior ROTC program, you'll participate in camping, aviation challenges, color guard events, hiking, rifle regulation and exhibition drill, space programs, rocketry, and many other fun educational and character building activities. The program includes a good balance of physical fitness, academics, and activities that build leadership and team building skills. You'll learn all about the science of flight and the latest space exploration technology. There are many field trips and athletic competitions where you'll learn to work with other cadets to achieve your goals. Many of our students have earned college ROTC scholarships for the Air Force, Army, and Navy. If you decide to enlist after graduating, you'll have the chance to start at one or two pay grades above, above other enlistees. If you are interested in joining the Air Force Junior ROTC program here at Shadow Mountain High School, please speak to your school counselor. Regardless of what you decide to do after graduating, the Air Force Junior ROTC program will provide you with a variety of life-changing skills that will serve you for the rest of your life. Good morning, Desert Shadows Middle School. This is a big week. We have some major events that really go to what makes Desert Shadows Middle School special. Uh, Miss O'Boyle, you are new at Desert Shadows this year, so you will be experiencing Castles and Coasters and our Gettysburg yes. event for the first time. Very excited for these big events, um, and we'll talk a little bit more about the schedule for the week in a little bit. But for right now, Mr. Hummer and I really wanted to address you all and ask for some help on a few items. We want all students to fully partake in the big events at Desert Shadows, including Gettysburg and the Castles and Coasters uh, final for physics. Um, in order to do so, we need you to follow our expectations. And those students who are in conduct referrals may be sign for part or all of these events, and we don't want that to happen. 
So we're going to share with you a few things that we've seen come to the main office in terms of conduct referrals. Uh, the first is something that you've seen in the news recently, and that is inappropriate touching. Uh, it's no joke. It's a big deal. Um, it's treat being treated more and more like a big deal all around, whether it comes from entertainment or from the news, but at school. Um, we must respect one another's privacy. We shouldn't be touching one another in their private areas or any other place that people might find uncomfortable. This is very important. The second thing that we would really like to talk about is just overall horseplay. And we see this a lot at lunch and before and after school, but especially at lunch. Um, sometimes we get the feeling that when people are done eating, instead of using that time to socialize or catch up with friends, uh, they're more likely to do some horseplay activities like pulling each other's backpacks, um, sometimes like slapping somebody and a lot of running in the courtyard, which can be dangerous because we have students who uh, are, are just trying to mind their own business and enjoy their lunch. So we're going to ask you to please, if you have extra time at lunch, you can walk over to another table, but we'd really appreciate if you could keep your hands to yourself and even stay seated at your table. We're going to be keeping a closer eye on this uh, from this week. And it's not just because we have this idea that it's important, but there are also people, students, families coming to us saying, you know, I don't, I don't like the way I'm being treated at school. And, and sometimes things that you think are in is, is a joke or in jest actually hurt people. Uh, the third thing I want all students to think about is uh, keeping your hands off other people's personal property. That means you really shouldn't have your hands on other people's uh, phones, water bottles, backpacks, and things of this nature. We've addressed some property damage, and sometimes if it's a phone or a, a music listening device, these could be very expensive. Mm -hmm. So keep your hands to yourself and don't put your hands on other people's things. It also goes for lanyards. We're seeing some yes. silly things with lanyards recently, too. Yes. Uh, the next thing that I've seen a lot as far as referrals coming to the office is for disrespect in the classroom, which is really disappointing to us because we know that the purpose of coming to school is to learn, get involved in the classroom, and enjoy those um, activities. Your teachers spend a lot of time on creating for you. Um, so when, when I have a student come in for disrespecting their teacher, their classmates, or interfering with the process of the classroom, you know, that's a really tough one for us. So please remember to come to school prepared with your classwork, eager to learn, and respect the rules as defined by your teacher. Two words that we see a lot of around our campus in different parts and places are be kind. And it seems like a simple message, and we might go through our day thinking that we are kind to other people all the time. Uh, but we also have people whose feelings are hurt sometimes, especially when we behave with other people in a way that is not kind or friendly, especially to those who may not be our favorites. So if you have a conflict or disagreement with someone, um, probably best just not to talk to that person or to be kind, especially to those people who may not be your favorites at school. Now it's really exciting for me to be here at Desert Shadows. Uh, in, in my first year, I've already seen some outstanding opportunities for our students that I've never seen before. Teachers taking students out to do bottle rockets, um, creating projects for De, De Los Muertos, and tiny houses. Um, so I've seen some really cool things, but this week in particular, I cannot wait to see the Gettysburg reenactment by the entire seventh grade that is this week on Thursday. I, I'm just so excited. I've been telling my whole family about it. And then on Friday, our eighth grade science students heading out to castles and coasters. These opportunities are not available for all middle school students across our district. This is a unique opportunity for you. And I expect our students to be respectful um, for given this chance and to be on their best behavior. Thank you. I have one last big announcement that I think some students are going to be excited about. Yes. Uh, the microwave at lunchtime is returning to the cafeteria. Uh, many of you know that we had the microwave to start off the year and then it disappeared. And it disappeared because uh, there were some students who weren't using it properly and it was abused and it no longer functioned. So we're bringing back a new microwave. And we want you to use it responsibly, because if we have students that don't use it responsibly, it's going to break and it's going to go away again. So. That's right. So use your respect and form a line if you need to use a microwave and um, be courteous to those who also would like to use a microwave. Take turns. We will see you at the courtyard. Tell us it's Zoe with your birthdays. Today's birthdays are Nicholas Smith, Maggie Coyston, and Joseph Regelsberger. 
Coriol Yaro. On Friday, it was Mr. Cueto's birthday. <laughs> Sorry if we missed your birthday. We hope you had a good one. And today is our very own Mrs. Mead's birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, and sorry if I pronounced any of your names wrong. And now, back to the sports. Not back. We will, we will rock you. Hey, DSMS, it's Aaron with the sports. Girls volleyball and boys football start on December 6th. Pick up your registration from PE or the back office. Submit your form and payment before registration closes on Tuesday, December 5th. Go Sidewinders. Today, there will be track and field practice from 2.40 to 4 o'clock. And now, back to the anchors. We're back. That's all for today. And remember to stay classy, DSMS. Yeah. Yeah.